The meeting starts in five minutes. This is freedom. Is he filming the meeting? Uh, yeah. We can't film on this one. Okay, that's fine. It'll be the full year for a million dollars. That's huge. Huge. Uh, so I've been thinking a lot. And uh, to understand what's going on through my head, you need to understand who I am. The story starts like this. In a small French town, a beautiful girl named Agnès falls in love with Jean Robert, the accordionist. Yes, my dad is a professional accordionist. Two years later, I am born. Woohoo! Soon after, my dad asks for the divorce and basically abandons us. My mom has no money, but she figures as long as she can keep love in the center of my life, we will be okay. My mom's job moves us from city to city. This means every two years we have to reset. New city, new school, new everything. The kids in school don't like me very much and I get bullied in school every day for the incredible clothes my mom is choosing me, for my amazingly cool hobbies outside of school and for my super awkward adolescent body. I grew up completely insecure about myself and my existence. And then here I am, 19 years old, drinking and partying way too much, completely unhappy with life. That's when I decide to reset everything. This means taking a big risk. I drop out of business school and buy a one-way ticket to China where I meet another traveler named Chris Carmichael. Chris teaches me English and more importantly, an entirely new way of thinking about life. Just imagine, Jerome, you're 99 years old and you're on your deathbed. All of a sudden you have a chance to come back to right now. What would you do? This line changes everything for me. I realize that life is about living at your full potential, getting out of your comfort zone and challenging yourself every day. So I challenge myself to create my own company. I fail, but I continue to challenge myself. I learn Mandarin, I backpack the world, I move to Toronto to run a software company with Chris. This is all exciting, but the truth is I'm still struggling with my own happiness and I'm not sure what is my purpose in life. That's when I download the new app Vine. I start shooting videos for fun and realize the sillier I make them, the more people love it. This pushes my craziness to the next level and I start recording every day something that scares me and makes me laugh. Why is everybody afraid of love? Love! Oh. Next thing I know, people start to recognize me in the street. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, you're the Vine guy! Ah. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Something big is happening. It's time to take another risk. So I reset again. I pack my bag and move to New York with nothing but $400 in my pocket. For the next six months, I'm pretty much homeless, sleeping on people's floor, offices, or wherever I can. Vine becomes my only form of happiness. I become obsessed with the app. That's when I create the first talent agency for Viners with my partner Gary V. I finished the year with 4 million subscribers. At the beginning, I don't really know how to deal with all this attention. But over time, I realized instead of running away from it, I could make all those people part of my journey. That they were not just fans, but more like a new global network of friends. Because of those friends, I got to experience the craziest year of my life. Jerome, you're fantastic. And then here we are, in New York City, talking to one of the largest brands in the world. My entire life is about to change again. I'm about to become a millionaire. That's when deep down, something tells me to think twice. Is my mission in life to stay here and become a millionaire? Is that my definition of success? How can I pursue personal growth and global happiness if I can't keep moving? Do I really want to sell my freedom and be told what to do with all my videos? Or do I want to be free to do anything I want with my life? I am 99 years old and I am on my deathbed. If I came back to right now in the present moment, what would I do? This just, this just doesn't feel, this just doesn't feel very right to me. So uh, this is not what I want to do and I have to go, I'm sorry. Sometimes you have to listen to your hurt and be true to yourself. Right now, my hurt 
tells me to reset everything again. This is happening. There's no good in that. I can feel something bigger happening than just myself. This is how I'm taking this tiny rage. Goodbye, New York. I don't know where this journey will lead us, but it starts now. Je veux juste te dire que je suis au Mexique là et euh, je, te, je te raconterai tout plus tard, ok Je te fais de gros bisous. <rire> bisous.